Good afternoon, YouTube. It is a very nice day. It's not too too cloudy. It's not too sunny. Good breeze. It's a just a good spring day. I think it's like a mid mid upper 60s. Good nice breeze. But anyway, probably gonna meet up with Cast Blast Camp here in just a few minutes at the carp spot and see if we catch us some more carps. And I'm on a carp kick, as you can tell probably by now. <laughs> I want to catch a trophy class carp and in Tennessee a trophy class carp is 34 inches or bigger and there's a good chance where we're going to to do that so I've already got all my bait and stuff mixed up besides the the wet stuff like corn and water and all that so all I gotta do when I get there is pour the corn in there and we'll be good to go anyway let's get on the road we'll see when we get there I just bought, uh, brought a small bucket down here with my pack bait I've got another one up there if we need it don't think I will but I haven't mixed any of the wet stuff in with it, so that'll that'll be good for later. I went ahead and chummed this out with some of my other pack bait that I had left over from the last time. We're gonna see how many carps we can catch today. Hopefully one at least 34 inches or bigger because that's the minimum length for the tarp eligible carp. And go figure, I left my microphone somewhere up in my vehicle, but the water is definitely in better shape than it was the last time. It's good and clear. I want to play around with this rod here to do some dinking around while we're waiting on everything else. And we're using the same rods as last time. You know, lighter catfish gears. Or, uh, this is a Rip and Lip Super Cat 7.6 Medium Light. Just a Abu Revo SX and some 15 pound mono. I'm using high vis line that way it's easier to see when one picks up and starts swimming off with it. I retied, I've got a, uh, I think it's eighth ounce or quarter ounce, something like that, rooster tail with that little hologram blade. I went to Walmart and bought pretty much every one of them that they had in that size and color, only to find out that I had probably five or six more at home from whenever. Ooh, got something there. What she is, what she is. Yeah. Here, a little white bass. That dude hit it like it had some authority. That's why I like white basses. They don't mess around. When they want something, they take it. They're like, no, that, that doesn't have the right seasoning for me. White bass are like, yeah, concrete. <laughs> well, I'm not skunked. I've got a couple of cart bites and some bites on some other stuff. But for me to turn this into a video, I'm going to need a couple more fish. Whoa! That was right under my line, too. Oh, my. Did you tell what that was? No, I wasn't. Cart. Cart. 100%. Like it, that carp. What? He's. I know why he's jumping. He's got three lampreys on him. Uh, I know he's got. I know for sure there's two. Seen them. Yeah, I know for sure. Off, huh? Yeah, I know for sure there's two lampreys on him. Maybe a third one, but uh, carp need, need to go out here. And we're finally hooked up with something. What do you got? There you go. Yeah, I'm not skunked. Well, I already caught one, but it's a little male white bass. I like how these things hit. Like, like I said, when they hit something, 
it's because they wanted it. <laughs> like, it wasn't a nibble. They hit with authority. Yeah. I think I may have found where these whiteys are. Oh crap, it came loose. That was a good white bass too. Yeah, and I'm probably going to snag it because I've... Well, yeah. I caught him to something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of sort of caught that one. I knew I was going to snag into something because I've snagged several times. Hey, it is a pretty good one. Probably. It ain't nearly as big as I thought it was, but it is a good one. Oh yeah. That's, that's more than. Email, ain't it? Yeah, that team that's a lot of hooks right there. Holy. You can see how it's got that, that pudge as far as her back. Okay. So that means they're they got eggs in there. More than likely. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get that one back because it's not hooked in the gills, but. Here you are. Right. You're just bleeding a little bit, but I think you'll make it. Yeah, it should be. Because that look, looked like it was just inside the, like through the bone, but it wasn't doing it too bad. But that was enough trauma on that one. So, that was about 13 inch? Four, probably 30, 13 or 14. I caught some decent sized perch up there behind Okoy 2 the other day, but it wasn't enough to make it worth the trouble. Yeah. I mean, they wasn't like, they were probably eight or nine inches, but still. It's just a typical flaky white meat to me. I can't tell a huge difference in it from crappie, but the only one that I personally have noticed a difference in, like texture wise, is walleye. And it seems like it's got a little bit more denser meat. My drag was a little bit loose for that one, but it's still a good fish. Oh, I'm, I'm just <laughs> one of these days, I'm just going to come up here and do a... Oh, shit, came off. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to come up here and do just a rooster tail challenge because they're stupidly simple baits and they work. Yep. I guess they mimic like either a, an insect or a shad. Shad, yeah about keeping with it yeah you definitely want to stick to a consistent schedule because it helps with the algorithm and it doesn't um screw up your views like it did mine okay The drag was much tighter with that one. This is not fighting like a white bass either, but I could be wrong. It is a monster white bass. A monster. This is a friggin' huge white bass. that is a oh huge white bass i technically i couldn't count it because it is snagged under the gills oh my gosh i won't show that on mine but dang i still want to record it that's, that's awesome. definitely a female dang that's a fatty man you want to measure him or her rather yeah I need to my battery. yeah that is definitely a female white bass's dude 
See how I was talking about the high, they look more like hybrids because they're so much more football shaped, like they're taller. Yeah, I see that. But yeah, it's still. Let's weigh this dude just for the heck of it because I don't remember what my. Look at the belly on that sucker. That's all <laughs> legs, too. Pound nine. So, pound, or one pound nine ounce, almost two pounds. They're deceiving. <laughs> About 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Okay. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to see if that's on the list of tarp eligible fish. Because I have forgot so many fish that I could have entered as tarp eligible. Now, does it have to be like a certain type of tape measure? Or? The easiest to read. Like That's why I've got that one there. Because when you're up here doing this, you want them to be able to see the, the fish. So it needs to be above it, not below it. I mean, it could be underneath it, but as long as they can see the end or both ends of it. Okay. 18 inches thing it's dang 18 inches that's a, that'd be a big old white bass that would be a massive white bass but i'm three and a half inches short of making P or tarp eligible white bass them things hit like a dang freight train i think something's finally hitting my carp rod yep Hopefully my battery stays good. Oh crap, my. <laughs> I've got a problem with my reel. It's trying to come out of the reel seat. It won't tighten down no more. Dude, I'm gonna need your net. <laughs> Hopefully I can get down there to it. Cause my net's way too small for this one. Yeah. Oh, that was me. <laughs> no, my reel is not liking this rod and it won't tighten down anymore. <laughs> Jeez, this is a mess. A car. You come on. You ain't getting away. I'm going to leave you in the water for a second. Because yours is about the same size. Just drag him over here. Almost got it. He's being stubborn. He's being Goodness, the best. 
Look at that. It's a good chance that one of these is a prep tarp eligible. That was epic. <laughs> 29, what, 29 and a half? That was 30 right there. 30 inch carp, corn pack bait. That was fun. It pulled my little, uh, pulled my reel loose from the rod and now I get to fix that or replace the rod. So let's get it back. Woohoo! Good job, man. <laughs> I'm gonna use your rag for yep. a second. Go ahead, man. <sighs> I would leave that thing outside for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> Or throw it in the washer yeah. by itself. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash that one extra strong. Oh, I guess there is one on here. <laughs> I set it down because I was getting uh, some bumps. I was like, eh, it ain't doing much. It's probably just nibbling on it. As soon as I set it back down in the rod holder, it's it's uh, all over the place. Probably gonna need the net because this one's, because this one's, he's definitely putting up more of a fight than those little teeners that we were caught our catching before I didn't even hear or see I just, uh, heck i don't even know if it's carp to be honest with you yeah, yeah. you got it snagged up on the tin you got her though that's a big one well no he's in the i think it's in the mouth but the they was, it was tangled i guess yeah one of those uh <laughs> yeah the one of those barbs on its dorsal oh, spine. Look. Yeah, it's in the neck, ready. Let's see if I can get that out. Get that barb is just working. Get the arm and start to turn around and stretch. There we go. Opposite direction more. You want me to get you on? Yeah, I didn't think about that. It's still running. Cool deal. Another carp. Another. He's getting hit. We're getting hit down here, guys. Let's get this one back before we lose it again. Woo! Yes, sir. Uh, uh. Geez, I am a freaking mess. I've got carp slime all over the shirt. He's got one on. I ain't even gonna bother touching my camera. Try to put it back in the. I'm gonna have to bleach this freaking shirt and the. Uh, GoPro mount. <laughs> yeah. He smacked you good on the shirt. Well, this GoPro mount that my camera's actually in looks like the stuff in the Ghost Boasters and that was under the sewers. Gotcha. That gooey stuff. He's trying to roll himself off that hook, but I think he's pretty set. The hook's set pretty decently this time. He ain't getting off off the lead. Come on in here, buddy. We're gonna bring you in. We're skiing him in, skiing him in. There we go. Just want to lay right there where it's a little bit a little wet softer. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna order one of those mats. little saddle. Uh, yeah. The well, not the mats, but the little saddle oh, things. The saddles. Yeah. Those Could will be coming handy. Keep them off the rocks and all that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to wash everything that I've got on, if not just burn it. <laughs> Cause if you think catfish slime is bad. You've never dealt with carp slime. It smells worse. It's thicker. It's just nasty. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do my intro or my, my intro, my outro now. I might sit another 30 minutes. I don't know. It's already eight o'clock. Starting to get dark. So anyway, it's been a pretty solid trip. We didn't catch a whole heck of a lot, but what we did catch was pretty good quality, and it was a fun trip. It, did get skunked that's all that matters anyway check out sam from cast bus camp all that stuff will be linked in the description and also check out the top link in the description that's my mule fishing affiliate link whenever you buy something through that link i get a little bit of a kickback also another link that i've been thinking about for a long time and i keep forgetting to add it 
will be underneath that link that will be a donation link to st jude's i really really believe in what they're doing to help families and their kids so if you want to donate to st jude's and help people out there'll be a link in the description for that also anyway hope you like the video i'm getting you up from the skiers we'll see you in the next one This right here is why you keep at least one rod in the water at all times. Like we were packing up to leave and he gets another stud carp. That one's probably get close to about 10 or so pounds. It's a pretty good size one, but it's a thick boy. yeah, it's probably 10 or so pounds if I had to guess.